Hey there! Maybe you are doing wedding films or wedding videos like I am, part of your job is wedding video maker, then you probably use one of these or something similar to get audio from, you know, the speeches for example. You're using a recorder, Zoom H1, which is very, I think a lot of people sitting in the world use that ones. Um, and then you use a tie mic or lapel microphone like that that plugs straight into the recorder and you record it over there. But the question is, what's the perfect settings for that? What is the settings that you can always rely on? You know, punch in and know that every single time when you get it out, you get crispy audio like right now. Right now, what you're hearing, I'm using exactly the same settings as you can see. There's another lap lapel microphone over here. And then it's recording in my pocket over here, as you can see. Boom. So here are the perfect settings for this recorder, how you can always get awesome audio. I'm also gonna share my compressor settings, multiband compressor settings that I'm later putting on, on the uh, Premiere. So if, if you want, you know, just pause it where you can see the Premiere settings so you can kind of get that effect on, on your Premiere and then kind of get the awesome audio as well. So basically, when you turn this little thing on, by the way, everything that I'm talking about, what I'm using, is in the description. So the audio that you can hear, the same audio you can get on your wedding films, you know, when someone's making a speech. So basically, when you turn it on, on the back of here, there's a few like little knobs, few options, let's say. So basically, the first one is low cut, and we want the low cut on. Because low cut basically just cuts out the low end, just noise that you don't really hear, but just cleans the audio basically a little bit. Now, auto level, no, we don't want that. Absolutely no way. If you put the auto level on, it's constantly going to find, you know, how low or quiet the everything is. Who is that? Oh, sorry guys, the postman's coming. It wasn't the postman, it was my wife. Had to let my wife in the house, you know. Happy wife, happy life. So just let your wives in the house. Where were we? Auto level. Yeah, auto level. You don't want it on because otherwise it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And sometimes it's not doing a good job. You want to be in control and you want to let the device kind of know what it's doing. So auto level off. And then recording forward, there's either WAV, 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 whatever, or MP3. Always have it on WAV if you can. Uh, much better quality, much higher quality audio basically. Now the biggest thing is the input level. So where do you set the input level? So it's not clipping but it's not too quiet either. So where is like the perfect balance? So I always set my input level on 50. As you can see over there, not, not 49, 50, not 51, just 50. And every t single time when I, you know, go back to the computer, just drop on my saved preset for the audio it's always always crisp audio it's never really clipping unless it's someone really really loud voice person which i haven't had yet and i've done like tens and tens of weddings so i've never had that problem so basically these are my perfect settings for the zoom h1 if you're recording on one of these and you're using this road smart love plus that's the microphone that i'm using it's a perfect combination then these are the perfect settings obviously if you are using any other microphone or any other recorder they have different preamps and the microphone might have might be a little bit more sensitive or less sensitive so you might have to figure out that but if you're using the same combination as i am or if you want would like to this costs about 70 to 100 pounds and this is about 50 pounds so it's a really cheap kind of kit to get really good audio on your wedding films. Hope this was helpful. If you want to get any of these stuff, buy it in the link, links below because these will be affiliate links. I'll get a small commission. And thanks for that if you want to do that. Anyway, hope this was a helpful tip for you. Let me know if it was helpful. See you soon, guys. And also like the video because it actually makes a difference when you like the video. Okay, thanks. Bye.